Hello and welcome. On this episode, we're talking about famous Shimano SPD pedals, which is the M520 model. Uh, those just uh, hit a thousand miles on my Canon Hill Killer so that I can confirm three main advantages of buying and using those, which is from the least important, the price. The price of around $30 is super reasonable for the quality that you get. Second, that's the durability. And third, that's the clipping performance and feel of those pedals. So uh, let's just um, go over some of, uh, some of the features and then I'm gonna tell you why did I choose those, those three advantages as the main ones. Uh, this is, as I said, 520 models. There will be also 530 on the Shimano range, which will be with a larger uh, platform for trail and enduro, and then 540. 540, essentially the same, but lighter for around uh, 29 grams. And then XT and XTR, those will be dedicated for those, that, uh, those group sets. Uh, XTR will be around 70 something grams lighter, as these pedals weigh 30, uh, 380 grams. Uh, 380 is not um, super light. Uh, on this Cannondale, when it was bought in 1998, there were some Coda pedals uh, that would weigh 360 many years ago. But um, weight is not, not uh, the thing you are looking for when buying, purchasing those. 380 is not also super heavy, so that's okay. Um, now, in terms of the finishing, uh, we do have the um, paint here on the outside. Uh, those higher models will be anodized, uh, but in terms of the uh, materials, same as uh, all the higher uh, group sets. So the body will be made of aluminium and the axle will be uh, made of uh, chromoly steel. So um, second one is the durability, right? The price we already know. Uh, as you can see, they spin like crazy, I would say. Um, those bearings are cartridge and sealed bearings. Uh, those spin very, very lightly, almost uh, as if they were new. Uh, when you buy new stuff, the grease is also always uh, breaking more, right? M putting some more friction, so those wouldn't uh, spin that freely. But this, you can, you can clearly see that uh, those are not dirty inside and not dry um, either. So very, very good stuff no play on the bearings and in terms of the durability i'm gonna also show you uh, the cleats uh, the cleat looks like new almost all the corners here are don't wear down so much so really good stuff this is this candle killer is my no mercy setup so really rough terrains uh, I don't care so much about, um, about uh, the components. I mean, I do care about them, but uh, they just have to do, do uh, the job. Let's just take a closer look at the pedal. All right, as you can see, that's the clipping uh, mechanism, which also looks pretty much new. You can see that uh, just the, the outer surface uh, wears down here but in terms of the uh, shape, it's just awesome. Now, we do have the uh, cleat retention adjustment, which is here with the Allen key on both sides, because th those are, mm, of course, the uh, double-sided. Um, and that's basically it. Um, in terms of the uh, third advantage, which is the uh, clipping uh, performance, in my opinion, Shimano does a great job here. Now, let's look at the axle. There is um, enough space for the dirt and mud to go through. Now, on the XT and XTR model, the axle will be even thinner, so it will be, uh, there will be even more clearance. Of course, those won't be maybe as super duper on the mud as egg beaters, but they give you better support for your feet. Uh, in my opinion, egg beaters are super awesome, um, super awesome for the mud but these are more comfy so I do prefer those so I don't have any numbness uh, on my feet uh, on, uh, during a long ride. So that's a very important feature uh, for myself. And now my way of checking uh, the performance of clipless pedals is also to adjust the uh, clip retention to the minimum one and then try to clip in and clip out and pedal and go uh, with the bike. Of course, clipping in and out will be super easy when it's um, um, put on the minimum, but also on many pedals uh, it will be possible 
to clip out just accidentally, just uh, while pedaling. So when you are, when you are pulling uh, your pedals upwards uh, with your with your feet, you will be able to clip out just uh, by accident. On these pedals, I'm running this uh, setup, which is the minimum uh, retention, and I haven't clipped out by accident even once. So um, it's it's working super well when my cleats are full of mud or full of, full of sand. Sand is really working bad for the for the clipless uh, pedals, and no problem clipping in, no problem clipping out, but also no accidental. Uh, clip outs which is really awesome in my opinion. So very reasonable price for these pedals, super duper durability and really nice uh, clipping performance. These are the three main advantages of Shimano M520 pedals which I'm gonna be running uh, for many thousands of miles with my Canada Killer. Thanks for watching, give me some thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye!